Hey everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on today's video. A new week has come upon us and uh, we've got some new Autodesk products to play with. So if you've been keeping an eye on your Autodesk uh, application manager, you might see that uh, a lot of the 2020 products have come out. Um, and if you haven't, then probably give it a couple of days and you should see it populate in your account. Today we're looking at Plant 3D 2020. Um, there are a lot of videos online talking about what's new in AutoCAD, uh, but for, for Plant 3D, there hasn't really been too many changes. There is a an online document showing uh, that there were apparently 97 issues uh, fixed for 2020, and I'll link that uh, down below in the description. Of this video uh, and I thought we just might have a quick read of what's been fixed up so it looks like there was a project migration where the drawing was not part of the project has been fixed um, some auto generation uh, has been fixed up uh, converting auto plant specs I haven't done a lot of auto plant spec conversion um, but it'd be interesting to see if, if anyone on the forums uh, has actually sort of uh, taken any uh, good news from from this sort of uh, happening as well for their fix. What else have we got here? LDT not coming through on all ISO generation. I'm personally not a fan of the LDT. It just takes too long and I usually just keep the data on the pipeline itself. Uh, I think the LDT is a good idea but it's just uh, again it just takes too long per ISO. We're going from a few seconds down to you know possibly even in the minutes when you use an LDT. So again hopefully they can fix that uh, with upcoming releases. But for, for me personally, like I said, I just keep it inside um, uh, the plant project as piping properties as well. Uh, what else have we got here? Multiport valve issue. I haven't done too many multiport valves, but it'd be interesting to see how that's been fixed. Uh, the pick list not updating on collaboration. Um, I do have collaboration, but again, I don't use it all that much, but it'd be interesting to see um, where that uh, gets fixed up. When installing plant 19 on same with 2018, some properties in 2018 I think from memory that had to do with uh, some of the properties didn't appear when you had them side by side so it looks like all of that's been fixed up a uh, bit of a bit of a crash on spec driven PNIDs again I personally don't use them just because the, the people that I'm working with don't usually have the, uh, the specs finished so we don't do spec PNIDs for the time being uh, the PNIDF page connector I've never had that issue but it looks like it's been fixed uh, mixed end piping isometrics don't display again for me. I haven't seen that but uh, for anyone viewing this hopefully it's been fixed for you uh, Migration uh, I, I haven't migrated so again looks like it's been fixed. I did read somewhere that the pin ID uh, settings to vault were apparently a lot better so uh, it'd be good to see if people are getting any um, better performance out of this uh, 2020 upgrade uh, reinforcing pads aren't showing up in bombs. It's good to see. Can't change the spec on the model pipeline from the properties palette in plant. That's interesting. I haven't had that, but um, it'd be interesting to see if that fixes for some people. Uh, line to elbow cutback. Can't change the spec on the model line from the properties palette in plant. So it looks like that's been done twice. And I don't know why, but it'd be if, if this P, uh, PFD, uh, sorry, if this PDF was formatted better, we'd be able to see which uh, hotfix number that was. Um, title block not visible in editing one block. Not sure about that one. Pin ID reports. Collaboration project being broken for other users than the creator. Um, it'd be interesting to see. I know with the ortho creation. Uh, in days gone by, it used to be that you had to be out of the drawing when it was cutting the ortho. So it would be interesting to see when we run that. Um, open drawing collaboration takes more than 15 minutes. Yep. Opening cache should have an error message when there is no vault client installed. I don't I don't get that because, again, I don't have vault. Um, see, again, this is coming up twice. So I'd be interested to see what the actual fix was for either of those. Um, digital Signa collaboration, can't check in about box, C2 about box. 
Citrix testing content packs on the App Store. So I, as far as I can tell on the App Store, they haven't been fully migrated to 2020. So I assume that's sort of, uh, that'll be something that's coming. And LDT attributes do not display in ISO when the line number field has a space in the LDT file. Okay. So again, I don't use LTD, but uh, for people that do, it could be a good thing for you. So in regards to the interface, um, it might be a bit hard to see, might not be, but with 2020 they've gone to sort of a, a dark blue, almost grey. So originally in 19 this was a grey sort of background on the palettes, now it's kind of blue. I don't mind it personally, it, it um, sort of makes the icons stand out a little bit more, plus as well it looks like they've um, just uh, sort of maybe brightened the icons a little bit. Uh, I'm I'm on the fence with the dark mode, but if you switch to light mode in your options, then everything sort of goes back to that white and grey. So I know dark mode is a big thing that people talk about even on OS X on the Mac where people have said that the whole system is dark mode. But again, I, I just think the lighter colours is, is a little bit more sort of easier on the eyes and you're not sort of maybe squinting as much. Um, if we switch to the pin ID settings, it's the same thing here. You can see that the templates are, are lighter. Uh, and again, for me personally, I think the lighter is just a, a nicer color. And you can see it looks like some of the icons, they've either updated or, or changed just a little bit just to sort of let them stand out. In regards to the functionality, I can't really see anything different here. Um, there are allegedly, I guess, every, with every release that there are AutoCAD performance updates, so I guess that can carry through to Plant 3D, but Plant 3D itself, uh, it doesn't look like there is really anything that's new in regards to the front end, to the user interface, so it's all just uh, still pretty uh, pretty plain, um, well not plain, but uh, just standard as it was last year, so a lot of the fixes will be in the back end rather than the front end. So if you're looking for some new features, I think you're going to be a bit disappointed, but uh, by the same token, if you've got stuff on 19 um, and, and the, the bugs are still running around there, then in 2020 they might be fixed for you. So uh, thanks for watching, and um, if you liked the video, subscribe. If you didn't, uh, thumbs down. If you did like the video, thumbs up. Um, and click on the bell icon to get all the uh, notifications of all of my daily videos. So for this week, um, I think I might look at some more 2020 products. So I've got Revit 2020 installed, I've got Advanced Steel 2020 installed, um, and I just had Navisworks 2020 installed. So we might have a play around, see what, the, what some of the updates might do with the other products and see how they can interact with Plant 3D. So again, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, uh, and please do subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more uh, Autodesk 2020 products.